Good evening. Um, I'm still messed up. Yeah. Um, I got my throat lozenges. Yes, throat lozenges. We had two awesome sets of live music that welcomed us to Disney Springs. Fun fact, that I Wanna Be song. I will walk by That song miles. was almost our first dance at our wedding. There's a really slow down Still version bitter, of it. Still bitter, a little bit. I am so sick of this song. Don't worry, it comes around again. What do you mean? Just to be the man who walks a thousand miles and falls down at your door. Ooh. Um, and actually that version could have been uh -huh. it. Um, we actually found their Facebook page. What Armor they called? Seasons. Armor Seasons. Yeah, they just They're had a baby. Good. Yeah, so it's usually the man and the woman on stage. Um, but she just had a baby. baby. So so he was with his buddy out there. Yeah. So they're actually playing they're in friends. Tampa. They don't have to be. They could hate each other. Sure. But they were really good. Yeah, we enjoyed it. So we're going to get some Giardelli. Sunset was fabulous. We're just going to have a relaxing, boring night here at Disney Springs because... No such thing. All this. So this is new. It's the new... My boss is... My old boss is super mad at me. <laughs> the Four Rivers food truck. It's nice. They have these high top tables out here. Have you eaten there? No. No, that's why John's super mad at me. Oh, because we refuse. Yeah. Maybe now we will though it's here. here Brisket, barbacoa, chicken. It all looks divine. It's still caramel. You wanted pumpkin spice. She said soon, a little pumpkin spice. I thought you were calling her a little pumpkin spice. <laughs> a little pumpkin spice. A few weeks ago, pumpkin spice. This is Halloween. I was just going to say that. Guys, we might concede, even though we're downsizing, we might get that mug. They might be to like, like keep in our Halloween, Halloween box, not like our normal mugs. We heard a little thing called DVC was taken over. 28 in Maine. I'm mad about it. Yeah, because it always gets... Mug. But 28 Main always gets the shaft and gets like kicked to the side. What is this cool thing? Do I need it? I think I need it. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Cute. 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 This oozes Cute. Sarah, circa the month of December and January. Centerpiece has a ton of Halloween stuff. Have you ever seen these before? I saw them the other day. They're creepy. Oh, these are really nice. Is this where you Oh, yeah. Nice. Jack is back, and then this one. This is, we might have to get this for Eve. For Christmas. Aww. That's a pin, right? That is a big old pin. That is awesome. Boring contaminant. So, I gotta explain something to you, and it makes sense after this next montage we're about to do. But Disney, everyone knows it's ridiculous when it comes to like their time frames of when they start celebrating certain things, like it's already Halloween season and it's not even September. Um, Chris Christmas is kind of limited because of Halloween down here in Disney, but if you've known Sarah and me or any of our close friends for more than like five minutes, you'll know that we're obsessed with Christmas. And so uh, we actually started, we started our, our countdown last year on September 1st, didn't we? Or two years ago? I don't even remember, but it was one year, we, one year I think we started August 1st. We started our, our daily countdown and it started like pumping out the music. September 1st is like the latest I find an acceptable to see getting Christmas music. So with that being said. <laughs> There must have been a doorknob from Alice in Wonderland there because yeah, from Alice in Wonderland the door. Oh, there's no glass. I want it. Oh. We found the doorknob. I'm gonna be honest, guys. There was a website I knew about. A lot of times I forgot what it was. You could actually buy a functioning Alice doorknob like that. Really wish I could remember that because we would buy that for. Uh, like Disney room or basement or upstairs or something fun, just like a random little door. Yeah. 
I'm gonna go ahead and say it, like, Disney Springs is empty. I feel like we should be in a park because it hit me that like, oh, most schools, not just Orange County and Osceola County, but most school systems in America are going, have gone back to school now. And we're in that awkward period right before like fall trips where parents are like, all right, you've been in school long enough, let's go celebrate Halloween. So like the next like two weeks, we should probably do a lot of parks, even though we've been in the parks a lot. We should probably do a lot of parks in the next two weeks because it's a pre-food and wine desolate time. When do you guys like my shirt? Do you guys like my shirt? My shirt is from Macy's. Is Hashtag the first Macy's. Time. This is the first time I've like really worn it on the vlog. <laughs> Labor Day is soon. When was Irma? Labor Day. Like right after Labor Day. Uh, so um, yeah like September 5th or 6th ish. So like I was just talking with this Katie. I felt like it was more like hurricane-y at this time last year. I know there's been a lot in the Pacific. This is the wood. Must find wood. We're in anthropology, which instantly smelled like Chicago in the fall time because it just shoots us back. Look, like, this is where I got Christina. I don't know if you ever should notice in our Chicago vlogs. I always use this one mug, the grasshopper. It's Christina's. I got it for her for Christmas, I think, one year or her birthday. Got it for her basically because I love it, but she loves it too because we have similar niche fandom like that. But they're selling this book called Love and Lemon, the Love Lemons cookbook. I got this for Sarah two Christmases ago, I think. For like eight bucks on Amazon. It's 35 bucks here. Uh, uh oh. Sarah found the most comfiest, cutest little shawl sweater thing. You gotta try it on. I gotta try it on? Yeah. Okay. It's like Can't you just, yeah. It's a size two, will fit. Oh. <laughs> this gets me all the right nooks and crannies. I feel like I look We like can share it. I feel like. Soft, isn't it? It's super yeah. So something happened tonight with us just perusing shops because we don't typically do that anymore. Two things. Sarah, first of all, is in the middle of, she's in the beginning stages of a wardrobe crisis. I don't know if she's having regrets about giving like all of her clothes away. But the, the goal was that we haven't done yet and we need your help. If we were supposed to get rid of like all of Sarah's clothes and get her like seven or eight new outfits that are versatile. Like, get huge. one and give one away. Like. Yeah. Not like Think Jessica G from Bucket List, like dressy, adventure, cute, the thing, though. hard rocker chick. Wait, like my style has always been like girly, but also like I don't know, like Ventures. edgy. But like I've always worn like boots and I've worn like dark colors and dark makeup. But like I feel like I'm more so having an identity <laughs> because like what I wear in like Chicago in the winter and the fall it's very... is my like because it's mostly winter and fall in Chicago it's like it's bread and butter but you can't wear that here right so I had like a moment where I was like I would have this Ooh, outfit and I haven't worn makeup like I used to wear like dark makeup I know we were going over old vlogs with Katie when she was over the other night and she, Katie was like Sarah who are you and so I'm like having a moment where I'm like you gotta find a new style so put like a comment down below of some guy. like, yeah. Put a comment down below of some cute like clothing so, like, lines. Good quality. Good quality. Lines. Decent price, not but super I like expensive. Unique. I like high necklines and buttons and lace and durability. Yeah. So we're gonna go to Sugarfield. I like handheld. Like, I'm hard time. <laughs> Guys. We're leaving Sugar Boo because that's like our favorite shop in Disney Springs, I think. Yeah. They don't have the, they don't sell the, the three-legged chanchito pigs anymore. That's all I wanted. They were so cute and like only three or seven dollars or whatever because they're made of like clay. But they're like signs of, look, I want one for my, I want one for my desk at work. A chanchito pig. I also don't know the history, so. No, I need but to... you've read it before and you've liked it, so you, well, I'll find it and I'll link it. Oh, 
Life is a Highway? It's like, everybody hates this song and it just calms me up. And we listened to that song at least 17 times on our honeymoon drive in Route 66. Yeah. Anyway, it's I also the did a dance to it and it. And she still opinion. knows it and it, yeah. it's really, that was a good dance. Um, I turned the camera on because that band was awesome. And Mighty Swell. Mighty Swell, check them out. Mighty Swell on Facebook, Instagram, Musically. I don't know if they have a Musically, but check them out. If, if someone were to send me, I have a challenge myself and anybody who accepts the challenge. You send me a violin, I've never played any instrument, well, I played saxophone for like one year from sixth grade to seventh grade. You, if I get sent a violin, I'll learn how to play a so I'll learn how to play it within six months. I promise we'll you that. Learn to play. It's a great big musical. I will play from within six months of acquiring the the violin. I will play. It's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Six months later, plus a few other songs. But that's it. Like I would, I would love. So that's you know what that's my goal. If no one sends me one, but at the age of fifty, I'm gonna buy one. There's the more live music. It's just a night of live music. Because we never usually get to Disney Springs this early without going to a movie or something. And by the time we're done or here, all the music is over. But I love it. We're back at the Disney Springs AMC. We've made a decision. And uh, I like to take it and say I'm sorry for anybody who did this because of us. If you did do it because of us, I hope that you got the use out of it while you had it before everything changed. But we thought, okay, so we paid for one more month of movie packs. And we check movies every day and it's literally given us two movies that we don't want to see. It's our only options. And like, I looked at movie theaters like 20 miles away. So, we're gonna cancel ours. It'll still say active until September 16th though. Well, it's because we already paid for it, so we'll try our hardest to use our three movies between now and September 16th, but uh, goodbye movie pass. Um, I'm sad. It says next billing date still though. We'll wait till it does it, it should be fine. Maybe it's got to update. If not, this is what everyone's complaining about. We really hope you enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. We saw 26 movies we in 10 months. And we, so Sarah and I used to go on like, that was our date, like in high school, it was like the movies. Yeah. Then we stopped because like, life, bills, and everything. So when they came out with this plan of 10 bucks a month, we were like, that's amazing. We're gonna so definitely like get the use. And our annual cast is like guaranteed date night. Fun. Every day of the month. Every day. So, yeah. For any of you fans of Star Wars fireworks, look at that. For any of you fans of Ben Rector. <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> so we're about three seconds, literally a minute and 36 seconds in. I already love it because the husband from My Big Fat Greek Wedding is in it. And if you don't know My Big Fat Greek Wedding, don't watch another vlog of ours until you go watch it. Wait, we didn't even see what we're doing. Oh, we're watching To All the Boys I Ever Loved or something like that. It's a new Netflix thing. We're trying to be trendy. Got my Eddie Bauer hat, Macy shirt, puffy little purse dog. I'm like Paris Hilton. <laughs> so. More like Perez Hilton. Ooh. Secret, I used to be obsessed with Perez Hilton. Secret, I would love to be Perez Hilton. You gotta be quiet when you have roommates. Because they're asleep. That movie was super good. I love a good high school drama, love story, happy ending. They don't make too many of those these days. Especially when you're 26 years old. And that with hip time, sorry, I'm trying to pick up Eve's toy with my foot. It's fun though when you were like in high school with your significant other, cause then you like can reminisce. She's my high school significant other that we were reminiscing about. <laughs> Been together 10 years at most. Um, look at our mom has been doing this weird thing where she like looks like she hates her life But trust me. She loves that corner. Uh, it's 12 15 still pretty early. Yeah, thanks for the um, Watching and follow along tonight's like pretty lax vlog. I feel probably not too long Hopefully it's got some cool cuts and edits from this chick during uh, Disney Springs love a good entertainment at Disney Springs It's good to be home. It's good to be home we know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, 
It's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.